like it's been a minute since we've had coffee time in the beginning of a video. I don't know why I stopped doing that. Okay, is it just me or is the feeling of getting a new box set, it's just, it's just such a happy feeling. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Boogie Snacks. You can go ahead and call me Boogie. And in today's video, not only are we gonna go over all of the box sets I currently own in detail, we are also gonna go over a few of the box sets that I'm in the market for, for the rest of 2022. Box sets are just such a fun way to collect manga. And over the course of the last year and a half or so, I just haven't been able to find the ones that I've wanted in stock. Those times are quickly changing, of course, with my recent purchase of the Claymore box set, which is right here. We're gonna go over it first, but also a few of the other box sets that I've been wanting and keeping my eyes on, they're coming back into stock relatively soon. I think this is an exciting time to start collecting box sets again. Before we go ahead and jump on into today's video, I wanna pose the question to you at home. What are some box sets that you are in the market for currently right now and you're either waiting to get them or you're waiting for them to come back in stock? If you're into anime, manga, just like the vibes here in general, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. I have a lot of fun videos planned for the rest of the year that I can't wait to show you. Okay, and with that being said, we got a ton of manga to dive into in today's video. Let's kick this one off. I'll see you in just a second. And like I said in the beginning of the video, the first box that we're gonna review is my recent purchase of the Claymore box set. I am so happy to finally own this one. Now, before we go any further, I am gonna recommend to pick up this box set before it goes back out of stock. So if you are even remotely interested in Claymore and you have an inkling that you might wanna collect and read the manga, at least look into it, maybe bookmark it, think about it for a day or two or however long you need, and then make your decision. In fact, I will link this down below in a few places where it's in stock, if it's still in stock. In fact, I will do that for all of the things in today's video. Those will also be affiliate links and it's a great way to support the channel, okay? Thank you. Claymore box set I believe came out in 2015 and totals in 27 volumes. So yes, it's the entire series. I say that because if you're new to collecting box sets, some series are so big, it takes multiple box sets to complete the series. The dark fantasy story of Claymore takes place in the Middle Ages when the remains of mankind are in shambles, riddled with death, confusion, and people are constantly in fear by monsters who eat human beings called Yoma. They are terrifying creatures that can shapeshift and take the memories of their last victim. The organization who is mankind's last line of defense are known as, well, Claymore, which utilize half Yoma and half women warriors to rid villages of these Yoma creatures. But what is the truth behind this organization and the Yoma creatures themselves? So that's the story of Claymore. So if you're looking for a shonen action, dark fantasy mystery series that is very well received as the manga and sort of like a classic for a reason, look no further than Claymore. Now I know it's compared to Berserk and it's like, oh, the female Berserk equivalent. And while I'm sure there are plenty of parallels, this is definitely a its own story and stands up on its own. Now let's quickly review the actual box set itself. Right off the bat, this is a beautiful box set, very aesthetically pleasing and well built. This might be a little weird, but uh, one of my favorite parts about getting a new box set is the fresh Velcro and the sound of opening up a new box set. I don't know, I like that. Right off the bat, we are greeted with some beautiful art. There it is, right off the bat with the main character herself, and of course, the volumes. Now the Claymore box set is one of the ones that I think you should store vertically, okay? And you can tell that easily by how not only the volumes are stored inside, but the art on the front and the back. And when I say correct, take that with a huge grain of salt, display it however you want, store them however you want. I just like to mention that the art is more portrait as opposed to a landscape because some are different. Like the one piece box sets we'll get to in just a second, they store very much flat, okay? And we'll, we'll get to those in just a second, but I just did want to note that about Claymore, okay? So that's Claymore, let's quickly move on. I cannot wait to do a binge read. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated over on my Twitter. If you aren't following me, that's by far my most active social media platform. So links to all that will be down below, but that's Claymore. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this series. Do you have the box set? Do you want the box set? Have you seen the anime? What are your thoughts on the anime? Let me know down below and let's quickly move on. So anyone a Zelda fan? If you would have told me a couple years ago that when I first started collecting manga, I was gonna own Zelda hardcover manga and then I got them in a box set, I would have I would have been shocked to hear that. But here we are and it's found its way into my collection and we're gonna talk about it just for a second and then we'll quickly move on. This right here is such an underrated box set, especially if you're a fan of the Zelda franchise and looking for more lore into that world. Now, the manga itself follows the video game, so if you're familiar with some of the franchise's titles, you're definitely gonna feel at home with this box set with titles such as the Majora's Mask, Four Swords, Ocarina of Time, and so on. Now, box sets tend to go down two different paths. On one path, they 
they might come with a pamphlet and down the other one they usually come with some sort of poster and this one comes with a poster. This isn't a double-sided poster like if you've ever purchased one of the One Piece box sets before or things like that in the past. This one's not double-sided but it is the biggest poster I've ever received in a box set. So it's a very high quality, very big poster of Link inside of here. Next is, okay, this is gonna fall. Okay, all right, hold on. Okay, next in the series of box sets that I own are the Monogatari light novel box sets. I have all three of them. They are light novels, not manga, but I thought it would be appropriate to include it in today's video. Okay, first things first, these are a very aesthetically pleasing box set. Whether you store it where you have the back facing wherever you are in the room or you have the volumes themselves facing you or however you want to display these in your room, these just look really good. I mentioned before there are three box sets. These are the first two and you can see how they just line up and it just looks so good. One thing you should know about the Monogatari series is that it's weird. But don't get me wrong, that necessarily doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but what I have noticed is that there's a very clear divide. People either really love it or really hate the series. I think it's important for me to mention that because three box sets is kind of a lot of money to dive into. These are definitely not cheap for what they are, so maybe watch a little bit of the anime so that you get a vibe for the series before diving into the light novels. Last little thing that I will say, make sure you read up on the order of which to read these. Some people like to read them in the order of which they came out. Some people say there's a different order. It's one of those series. Just do a little bit of research. Reddit will be able to help you out. Google will be able to help you out. Okay, we're at the point of the video where, come on back here. If you can see this in the corner of the screen, this is the fourth One Piece box set. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you would know that I have all four box sets for One Piece currently right now. But these box sets are incredibly difficult to find right now. In good faith, I'm not gonna recommend going out and trying to buy these unless it is some sort of pre-order or backlog from a retail store where you can get them at retail price. Please, please, please do not go pay scalper prices for these box sets. It is One Piece, they will come back and stock, just have a little bit of patience. But I feel like I don't need to explain the story of One Piece. If you're looking for a grand adventure that just outsold Batman, uh, look no further than One Piece. It's a phenomenal shonen. It's in my top five favorite series of all times. I think it's an incredible journey to get into and that most people probably should read. And now patience is the perfect segue into this next part of the video. We're going to be talking about the manga box sets that I'm currently thinking that I can manage to get by the end of the year. Follow me on Twitter, I highly recommend you do so. I had a whole bleach moment uh, over on Twitter as I was watching the anime and finished the Soul Society arc. I don't know why it took me that long to get into bleach. You guys have been recommending this series forever, but hey, I finally jumped on the train, phenomenal series, and as I was finishing the Soul Society arc, I haven't gone any further, but as I was finishing the Soul Society arc, I just knew I was gonna have to read the manga. This is where I run into the question as a manga collector and a manga reader comes in. Do I want to read read the manga or do I want to read and collect this manga? Thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it and I kept thinking about it and eventually I came to the conclusion that I wanted to read it on the Viz app. But as time kept progressing, I just got this feeling more and more and more that I really want to own these box sets and I just want to enjoy Bleach reading the single volumes. So now here we are weeks later, I've sat on this decision and I've thought about it a lot, but I am officially going to be trying to hunt down the three box sets to add to my collection. So just like the One Piece box sets that we mentioned a second ago, these are chronically out of stock or when they do come back into stock, they just disappear so quickly. But I have made the decision to start trying to collect them. I'm starting to look for them now. So in fact, if you guys see the first box set for sale somewhere for a good price, let me know over on Twitter. Shoot me a DM. Also, let me know. Do you have the Bleach box sets? Did you get them for a good deal? Did you pay scalper prices? Let me know down below. Okay, so now moving forward, I've talked about One Piece, I've talked about Bleach, and you would have guessed it, the next box that we're gonna be talking about are finally, I want to try to go get Naruto, the box sets. And I, and I think you guys can follow my thought process. I want to own all of the big three in box set form. The problem with the big three in trying to get either One Piece, Bleach, or Naruto, they are always out of stock and really, really expensive. The first Naruto box set itself goes for over $200. Now there is 27 volumes in that box set, but it, it's very expensive. I believe that there are three box sets in total for Naruto, totaling in 72 volumes, and I will try to collect them one by one by one. However, I am looking for the first one first. 
Another one that we're gonna talk about very briefly is the Nichijo 15th anniversary box set. This I'm on the fence about, and let me explain why. So if we come back here for a second, I actually have volume one of Nichijo. But that box set, I will let you know right now, looks adorable. I think just from an artistic standpoint, it looks really good and the collector inside of me is like, I want that. And I'm a huge sucker for like comedy, slice of life, wholesome series, and I've been told that's what Nichijou really is. So I'm going to read the first volume, I'm gonna watch a little bit of the anime, and I will let you know my decision, but the 15th anniversary box set isn't that expensive right now. I believe it's under the $100 mark, so it is something that's on my radar, and it's, you know, completed the whole series, just one and done purchase, so it's just, it's something that's on my radar, like I mentioned before, and I'm thinking about it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Nichijou, the box set, the anime, just the series in general, and I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. Okay, so this is the last box set that I wanna to try to get before the end of 2022, and this actually might be my next big purchase for my collection. It might be something that I celebrate my new bookshelves when they're finally done being painted and all of the signs come and my whole set is built. It might be what I reward myself with, and it's actually the 35th anniversary Akira box set. I've been putting this off for so long. This has been on my radar. Guys, it's been on my radar since the beginning of my channel. I've been trying to hunt, and I finally did, all of Doro Hidoro, so I have it all in its completion. And one reason why I wanted to do that, not only because I love the story, but I love the genre and setting of this dystopian sci-fi mystery thriller genre, which is Doro Hidoro. And I've been looking for more series like that. It dawned on me, I was like, yo, Akira is totally that. And that's going to be one series I'm gonna be actively trying to collect. And like I mentioned before, it, it's going to be possibly the next box set or bigger purchase I make for my collection. So not only is it in the genre or setting that I was really looking for more series in, I think it's an iconic box set to have as a collector for my own personal collection, and I would want to enjoy Akira in those nice releases that happen to be in the box set. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on the Akira box set. Should I try to buy it now? Should I wait? Do you think prices are gonna go down? Do you think prices are gonna go up and I should just move on it immediately? Let me know down below. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching this part of the video. You might have noticed I didn't talk about the plethora of other box sets that I probably could be getting. And like I said before, that's because I just wanted to mention the box sets I'm actively trying to shop for by the end of 2022. Don't worry, there's a lot of box sets that we can talk about and let me know, maybe we can do another box set video on all the other ones I just want in general, but that's the reason why I only mentioned a few box sets in today's video that I'm looking to buy. I also didn't even mention the amazing Japanese box set releases or box sets from around the world. Maybe that can be a whole video in and of itself of box sets I wish I could have, but I just can't get or I'll have to import. Now, before I let you guys go, I would like to invite you to our Discord community. The Discord community has been rapidly growing and has become home to a lot of new people. You can join the Discord by going to discord.gg slash boogie snacks. So of course, links for all of that will be down below in the description box. I am also streaming on Twitch a lot these days. So if you'd like to come hang out, I'd love to get a chance to meet you. Of course, links will always be down below or you can go to twitch.tv slash boogie snacks TV. This video has definitely put me in the mood to do so. In fact, I might even, where's, where's Claymore? I might even crack open Claymore. Claymore volume one. I think I should do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. With that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. I'll see you next time. All right. Good night.